We hear so much in our society about keeping the body healthy and strong. All too little about keeping the mind and the heart healthy and strong. And one way, is, one way of keeping the mind strong is to do good, to be generous, to be virtuous, to develop thoughts of goodwill. That's nourishment. When we nourish ourselves this way, then life seems worthwhile. If we can't be generous, can't be virtuous, it's hard to live a happy life, hard to live a life where you feel that you're actually doing something good, and that it's worth your effort to go keep on going. So you make a practice every day, every day. Find some way of being generous. Find unexpected ways of being generous. We all have our duties as we go through the day. But there are other little things you may notice that could be done, an area that can be swept up, something can be straightened out. Look around. There's lots of opportunities for doing good. In other words, there's lots of opportunities for strengthening the mind. It's like exercising the body. You exercise the body by using it. Some people would, might think that the more you use the body, it gets, simply gets used up. But that's not the case. You use the body, you nourish it, and it gets strong. You don't use it much, it gets weak. Same with the goodness you have, of the mind. You have to exercise it every day for there to be strength. So keep that thought in mind all the time. And look around you. There are lots of opportunities for doing good, for nourishing your mind, for strengthening your mind. When you have that attitude, then wherever you are, even if the body is weak, the mind can be strong. Because, of course, that's the nature of the body. Someday it's going to start weakening on you, if it hasn't already. Then it gets sick and then it dies. But the mind doesn't have to weaken, doesn't have to get sick, doesn't have to die. Otherwise your goodness doesn't have to die. The mind's not going to die anyhow. It just keeps going on and on and on, from one life to the next. And what does it take good with it? it take with it? Well, it takes its goodness with it, or it takes its lack of goodness with it. If you don't haven't done much good, you get to the other side, and you open up your, your suitcase, and it's just full of junk, nothing useful and just heavy. Whereas the image the Buddha has is of a shadow falling behind you. If you do good, the goodness you've done is like a shadow. It doesn't place any weight on you, but it goes with you wherever you go. And unlike the shadow, you can really draw on that strength when you need it. So this is how you strengthen the mind, by doing goodness. And as I said, the opportunities for it are all over.